It has been a long day. Long weekend, really, but good weekend. But today has been a long day. And ended on a note I really didn't want it to. For one thing, I didn't get any cooking done, so I'm gonna have to do all that during the week. I only got two episodes last week, which, you know, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna try to get you three this week, okay, guys? Regardless, I came home, and my cat had somehow managed to knock my PS3 controller off the counter, bat it across the room, and get it into his full water bowl. Effectively, killing it deader than dead. If it were just a PS3 controller, that would be one thing, but he has quite literally actually destroyed hundreds of dollars of equipment. Needless to say, I need a drink. And maybe one fewer cat. It's Some Guy Who Could, starring Brett Picorni. Featuring Brett Picorni, guest stars on the show include Sal, Pappy, and the lovely Paula. Today's episode is brought to you by Brett Picorni. Quick shout out to Koji. He's one of my dance instructors. Yes, I'm learning to dance because quite frankly, it is fun and it's good exercise. But anyway, Koji is starting his own YouTube channel. Started it recently, actually. Turns out he's not just a great dancer, but he's also a crafter of fine beverages. I'll link you down in the description below so you can check out his channel where you can find out how to make some classic drinks. In the meantime though, I know I usually do food, but like I said, I need a drink, so I'm gonna make a drink. Tonight, I'm some guy who drinks. I'm making you a special cocktail. This is one of my own creation. I call it the Cherry Moon. Anyway, let's get to it. I love cherries. So when it comes to cocktails, you can't beat one that has a good cherry flavor. The name Cherry Moon is actually a reference to one of my favorite audiobook series, Sandman Slim. Anyway, enough buggering about. Let's get to mixing so we can get to drinking. These here are Luxardo Maraschino Cherries, the original Maraschino Cherries, the best Maraschino Cherries on the face of the planet. Filthy cherries are probably a close second, but these are my top. And this, mm, is a brand new jar. They're pricey, get them, they're a treat. So we start off with a couple of these cherries. I'm gonna go with three, and make sure you get a nice spoonful of that syrup with them. Just gonna lay those right at the bottom here. And now we get to the good stuff. First up, Kentucky bourbon. Mm. We want two parts of this. You can eyeball it or you can use a shot glass to measure. Next up, we want one part amaretto. So we want one part of this amaretto. Next up, not gonna drink this straight. It's cherry cocktail syrup. We want one part of this as well. And then we're gonna top it off with a few dashes of bitters. I like rhubarb bitters from Fee Brothers. Give it a good three to five. I'm gonna give this a good little stir. Now you can lick a spoon. And drop in either your ice or whiskey stones. I don't have any fancy ice, but I do have some whiskey stones here. Ooh, they're cold. And we'll give that one more swirl. And that, my friends, is the Cherry Moon. Whiskey stones don't chill your drink quite as much as ice does. They won't alter the flavor because they're not melting into it, but they really don't chill it as much. That's okay, because this is not a drink I want cold, cold, just a mild chilling is fine. Mm. It is nice though. It's got a good, strong cherry flavor. It's a little sweet. It's got a little bit of a bite from that bourbon. And then those bitters really even it out. So here is the long weekends, long days, and ending the night right with a couple of amazing cherries at the bottom of a really good cocktail. So tonight I may be some guy who drinks, but next time I'll be back as some guy who cooks.